Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, buddy. Dude, that's dope. Ooh, that was a bite. Yeah. Oh, that was a good hit, bro. Big it, dude. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Dude, monster. Yo, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. It helps the videos out more than you guys know, so I really appreciate everybody who subscribes and hits the like button. In today's video, we are down in Florida, and we're gonna be doing some Florida pond hop, and I actually linked with my boy Robbie yesterday, and we went out fishing for some big bass, and I ended up hooking a freaking tank. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna hop right into it. More pond hopping episodes coming this week from Florida. If you guys have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below because I'm always looking for something new to film. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, y'all. We just got out to the first little spot that we're gonna hit. It's a beautiful day outside. Just a little bit of clouds in the sky. It's almost bluebird skies, but we got a man, Robbie. What's up? With us today. It's been a second, dog. What's going on, man? It's been I'm, a good second. Business. <laughs> yep. So I'm gonna start off with a chatter bait. He's throwing a rattle trap, and we're gonna see what we can do. You know, we have this big cold front roll in the last few days, but yesterday and today it's been a lot warmer. So I think it's like 68 degrees right now. We are down in Florida. I'm ready to do some Florida fishing. So I came down here and I'm gonna try to hop around and do a bunch of different fish. And I hit up Robbie and I was like, hey man, let's uh Let's go do some fishing so we're gonna see if we can get on some big ones here this afternoon we're gonna only be fishing for a few hours until dark but uh yeah i'll catch back up with you guys with the big fish you're into those black and blue chatter baits aren't you for some reason in florida i feel like that black and blue works better Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot. Dude, I'm talking, when I mean a bite, bro, a bite. like, yeah, I haven't had a bite like that. And <laughs> he never ate it, though. He just slammed it one hard time. Yeah, he didn't load up on it. He was on that seawall. You know what's crazy is when I threw up there, I was thinking in my head, I'm like, I wonder if some of them fish had pulled up on that seawall. And sure enough, he hit it. Yeah, I'm going to beam back up. He was all the way. He's probably like three foot off of it right to the left of me like three foot from that bite that wasn't no three four pounder that was that had to have been a, a big girl something just hit the water over here yeah you see see that right there a little swirl all right guys we've been fishing for about 45 minutes Robbie's had a few bites on that trap, like just them slapping them. I had that one really good bite on the chatter donk, but that's about it, you know. After that cold front, that tends to happen. Those fish get a little weird. You know, you usually get just as many bites, but sometimes they don't want to commit and they kind of just want to play with it. That's kind of what we're seeing right now. I'm hoping we're going to end up getting on some here in a little bit, especially as the sun starts to go down here in a little bit. I think that might be the time that these fish might fire up like i said the weather's just been so inconsistent this last month the fishing's been just brutal even here in florida and i'm not from florida i don't live in florida either but i was coming down to try to get into some good fishing but these cold fronts mess up these fish over here too pretty good look at that right there some bait popping that's the second time i've seen some bait popping out here Look at that. dude i just got hammered right there did you absolutely nothing yeah bro i'm gonna try it i'm gonna tie on that worm Guys, I think I'm gonna cut off this chatter bait. I just had that one bite, that's about it. And I brought my worm. I only have one worm, so if this thing breaks off, I mean, that's all we got. But let me see, where's it at? It's a little Texas rig. I got my weight in my pocket somewhere. This little tiny canal that we're in right now just looks really good for something slow. So 
I think this would be the time to try a slow moving bait if there is a time for it. So I'm gonna put our little tiny bullet weight up on right here. It's got a three out extra wide gap hook with a watermelon red Sanko. That's kind of the game plan here. Got a little bit of rock and a little bit of trees and also some of these sea walls I'm gonna flip up on and work this thing like ultra slow. Let's see if those fish are actually here. They're just not biting. Hopefully we can get something started guys. We just haven't, you know, if we can just get one fish, kind of get that momentum going. We just haven't really had any bites to where we could actually capitalize. There just has to be one on that wall. I think at least a small one. Dude, what in the world was that, Noah? Worst cast of my life. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, that was a good hit, brother. Big hit. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Dude, monster. Look at that one. That's a freaking mega. Look how big he is, dude. He ain't eight, but he's... I don't know. Yeah, he, he's just a stubby dude. That's five, five, six pounder. There we go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Softest bite, bro. Oh, I know. Little tiny chick. Look at that, man. That's easily five. Let's put him on the scale. You Let's put get him on the scale? it. Yeah, that's a five pounder. He ain't sick. Okay. But look at his belly. Oh, he's full. Oh, baby. You know what sucks? He kind of messed up my worm. It's it's the only one you got. Oh no. Yeah, I know. I wasn't planning on throwing it. I really I know, wasn't. Yeah, that's why I should have brought that. Dang jig. <laughs> I know. There we go. Five five. Five five. About. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. That's Look at that, good, baby. Tank, dude. <laughs> dude, that is a tank. He's just got that belly on him. He's honestly a short fish, but he's just stubby. There we go, y'all. First fish of the day. Five, what was it? Five, five? Five, 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 six. Really fat, dude. Just beautiful fish. We're going to get her back in the water, but that's exactly what we want to catch. Switch up to that Sanko. It was just the slightest bite. But we got her on the bank. Yeah, it's a large mouth. It's a pretty one, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. You having a good day? That's sweet, yeah. But yeah, we'll get him back in the water. That's that's what it's about, man. Come on, Robbie, let's get it, dude. There she goes. Let's go, brother. That was good. We waited a while, and like he had a few bites on the trap. I had that one on the chatterbait. Had to switch up, and we made it happen. So let's see if we can duplicate it now and get another fish. Let's go. So guys, I ended up ripping my worm. This is the only worm I have. So I'm going to bite a little tip off. Just like that. Look at this, boys. I'm putting it in my pocket. I'm trying not to litter. We're gonna still rig this worm up. I'm just hoping they don't take any more of this because if they do, I'm gonna be in some trouble. But to start off the video with a five and a quarter is a good sign, especially since we just switched up to this worm. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We were fishing for about an hour and a half and we had a few bites, but they just weren't. They weren't like grabbing it so you know switching up to this worm had that light bite and he just started walking off with it so maybe we can get a few more on the bank and uh, maybe we can get one that's even bigger it's a big one watch this i'm gonna see if i can catch him yeah real up to him dude he's right there get him rob <laughs> robbie's about to smack one watch this he's gonna get it he got you yeah buddy dude that's dope <laughs> that's like what Two and a half, three pounding? Three Two and a half pounding? Pounding? That's probably three pounds. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's sweet. <laughs> you spotted them right there. What's up? Look at that. Dude, that's legit. Yo, give me some. Yeah. Give me some. <laughs> no, that's cool. Open his mouth. Look at that. We yeah. got him. Look at that worm in his mouth. So we just went back to Robbie's truck. I ended up grabbing some more of these Sankos, and then he ended up putting like a little black trick worm on. And we were just walking to this new spot, and he happened to see one just sitting there. And sure enough, he ate it. Good thing he wasn't finicky, you know. Mm, he, he, as soon as he saw it, he swam right up on it. Yeah. That fish about almost three pounds. I'll put him on the scale real quick. Let's see. So uh, let's guess. This is what I usually do. What do you All think? Right. I'm thinking. I'm going to say a high two. Okay. Like, I agree. Like two. I'm going to say know, two, bro. nine. I'm going to think 
277. 277. Yeah, I think he might be a little. He, I thought he was a little fatter. 28. Two eight. I so said two, two, eight. two and a half. Yeah. Well, you got your first one. We I, both I, got. It's funny because I literally I walked. I was like, oh, there goes a bass right there. He wasn't finicky at all. So yeah, there's definitely gonna be some more, dude. Yeah, I mean, if there's more. more. If, there, if this one's right here, there's gonna be more. Man. Yeah. Good job, man. We're just gonna kind of walk around. I'm gonna pay attention and also just make some fan casts and some of these little hot spots and on the edge of the grass, like even these little corners and and divots in the bank. Let's see if we can catch some more. Now we both got one on the bank today, so that's all we really need to get some momentum. Do you have one that's that's for like crankbait rock like crankbaits? No, so that's that's the thing with these. We only came out with a seven foot medium heavy. Oh, that's but fair. but that's, I mean you can use that for most anything. You, that's why that's yeah, why that's, we did that. Like, so you can throw a worm on it. Anything. You can honestly spinner throw bait, a jig on it, spinnerbait, chatterbait, yeah. crankbait, that, lipless. That, that, that right there to me is like the all around. You can throw anything on. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh gosh, what is that, dude? There's no way that was a fish, right? That was a boil and a half. Dude, look at that, Robbie. Uh, got you? No, right there. I'm so mad about that. I spooked him. Got about an hour, I'd say, of daylight. So we're really going to try to grind this out. Really catch what we can. You know, I have seen some movement here. You know, he caught that one at the beginning of this little canal here. I'm just hoping we end up getting on some. Oh, there's a, there's a dead tilapia right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. See, I don't know if that's a bass or a carp or a tilapia. It could be really anything. They're so finicky. Like, I can't see them, but they supposedly can see me. Don't move, bird. Please don't move on there. Okay. Stand still. You're good. All right, y'all. Well, Robbie just saw a few on bed. That's <laughs> crazy. Right here in February. That's why you got to love Florida. The trick to this is to not walk up on these fish. Like... If that's really what's happening right now, we don't want to walk up on these fish. So guys, we are back where we started. So, but when we started, we were over there and I had that bite on that chatter dong. And now that we saw those fish on bed, I'm telling you that bass was on bed on the seawall. So we're playing really stealthy here. I'm gonna see if I can catch this fish. I know there's one on bed because the way that he hit me and the fact that he wouldn't hit it again, I think I think he was on bed. Still throwing that Sanko. I'm just literally casting it down here. Nice and easy, about two to three foot off this. The reason I'm throwing off is because there's a little bit of grass on the edge. Oh, Robbie. Oh, it wasn't a big one. That's That might be like a male, dude. There could be a female up there. I don't know if they're up there like that, but could be, could be. Dude, I guarantee, I guarantee that bite the fish. Or maybe, I mean, maybe I see the Bro, Robbie, I'm telling you, that bite I had, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Something, Shut up. I swear my life. It might be a female. All right, I'm gonna put this one over here, bro. Over here. I don't want to spook it. One, I don't want to spook it in two if there's a female up there. All right, this is that natural <laughs> hand wipes right here, boys. Did you really get bit? Yeah, that? Something, something. Sure. All right, we might we might get on them here, yeah. dude. Yeah, they're on the seawall, bro. We just gotta capitalize here. All right, guys, we're coming to the end of the day. Man, it's been a little tough, but we can't complain with what we got. I'm probably gonna end up fishing tomorrow morning to add to this, unless we just go on a slate sesh, which I just I don't know. You about done? Yeah. All right, y'all, I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, next day. Yesterday was tough as can be. We're actually at a new pond today that I haven't fished in a very long time. It's probably been like two years. I've caught a lot of fish here in the past. And to be honest, it's looking a lot more saucy than it used to be. So I'm hoping to catch some really good fish today. There's some good ones in here. Um, I, I came out here one day and ended up smoking them. But you know, I'm not really expecting that today. I know it's been a little tough. So, you know, if we go ahead and come out here and catch three or four fish, I'm going to be happy. So we're going to go ahead and start covering some water, guys. I'm going to, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I want to say that that was a bluegill, a really large bluegill. Probably what that was, but we're uh, starting off with the Senko. Again, we're going to check this around a bit. I got a few baits in my pocket if we need to switch up. Like I got, I got a fluke and I also have a chatter donk. So 
We're gonna get started with the worm though. See what we can do today. I really love the activity this morning. Like I see a bunch of birds around. So one thing I pay attention to when I go fishing, especially on a tough day, is I pay attention to the nature around me. Like if you see the birds a little more active today, you know, the birds flying around, you got some of the ducks and the geese in the pond, that's usually a good sign. You know, the nature and wildlife is more active today. So let's go ahead and get started guys. Let's see if we can put some fish on the bank. No swimming, okay. I guess we can fish here guys, am I correct? Or am I correct? Just because I wanna cover water, see if we can catch some of them active fish. We're gonna cut off the Senko and tie on a chatter donk, which I have in this bag. There we go. That is the chatter donk that we're gonna throw this little white one. It's the one I threw around yesterday a good bit. I actually see some fish chasing some bait. Or I don't see fish chasing bait, I see bait popping. Well guys, this is not happening. We're gonna go to a new spot. I fished this whole pond, except for this little tiny corner. Fished the whole thing and I haven't, haven't even had one nibble. Like I said, I haven't fished in two years. I don't really think it's worth it. Let's hit another spot. All right, y'all, pond number two of the day. Let's see if we can get rocking. fish of the day guys not a big one but i watched them come up and eat that thing <laughs> let's go dude we're only here for probably three or four minutes we got our first fish of the day on the chatter donk let's go baby this is one of those spots i i usually don't catch a ton at too so that's a good sign heck yeah throw him back in the water real quick let's get back after it and maybe we'll get into a few big ones i know they're in here like I think I've caught two fish over four in here before, so there are definitely some good fish in this pond. Ooh. Oh man. Wow. There he is, boys. That's how we need to that's how we need to catch him right there. Oh man. I just figured something out. Look at that. Boom, not a big one, but look how he ate it. It barely even felt like a bite. He just loaded up on it, but I had him bite it right before that. Another small one, but heck, dude. We got two fish on the bank already. So the crazy part about that, guys, is that was actually going to be my last cast. So I wanted to make that cast to try this. So what I did is I know it's a little deeper out there. So that, that one had me on the fall. So I know it's a little bit deeper out there, so I let it sink on the bottom, and I'm just slow reeling it. And sure enough, he slammed it. This is the nicest little thing I've ever seen. This is made out of tile. What in the world? <laughs> Interesting. So we were just fishing that other corner. I just walked to this corner. We're gonna do the same concept. We're gonna try to duplicate what I did on that last fish. Let this thing sink to the bottom. It's got a decent bit of depth out here. It's probably got about seven foot. We're just gonna slow reel this bait. Give it some pops every once in a while. Sometimes when you pop that, that's when they load up on it. This dog is about to start chomping at me, I feel like. Please don't do it. There's just two of them staring at me. Well, one of them sniffing the other one's butt. Oh my god, he's humping the dog right now. I wanna get too close, gonna get it right now. What did I just witness? Kids, close your eyes. <laughs> Bro, chill. Yo, chill out, dude. <laughs> that thing in your pants i'm getting out of here man <laughs> Ooh. there he is boys they're right in the middle 
that's where they're stacked up i know exactly what to do now guys like even how to work it these fish are not big that fish can fly back in buddy <laughs> there he goes all right they're literally right in the middle like just like so what we have you see this flat bank right here it's the same way on the other side of the pond and what happens are both of these sides of the banks are flat and then it tends to drop off because this pond's got a pretty heavy drop off and it creates a bowl just like this down in the middle and i guess you could really call that a little ditch and that's exactly where those bass are sitting we're throwing this chatterbait we're letting it sink all the way to the bottom and I'm just slow reeling this thing on the bottom and that's when they're picking it up. But I figured something out on that fish. I was really paying attention to what I was doing right before he bit it. And I was kind of just popping my bait and letting that blade just wobble and then hit the bottom. And that's exactly when he picked it up. So we're gonna kind of, we're gonna try to duplicate this. I know there's some big ones in here guys. I know we've, we've been hooking small ones right here, just like little one pounders, but I would not be surprised if we just hook into an eight pound donk. Like I, I really, it really wouldn't surprise me. These Florida ponds, you never know what's in here. Oh, golly, he slammed and he came off. God, dog. We are on to something right here, let me tell you. That that bait just sank to the bottom. I just started moving. That, that was a bite, too. The other ones just kind of load up on it. That was a freaking bite. I might have been a bigger one, but I, I really don't know gave me a spanking oh he did give me a spanking look he took my dang that's my only swim bait i got hey buddy you don't let me pet you no all right you ain't scared like them other ones i got some respect on your name boy what does that mean that is an ugly son of a gun let me tell you yo <laughs> chill i was just playing bro I dig your hair, dude. Why are you looking at me like that, bro? My man's low key freaking me out. See you later, buddy. Oh my god, there's a fish in front of me, bro. He's about to back up. He's putting it in reverse. Oh no, he spooked. I couldn't reel my bait in fast enough to get to him. He saw me and I saw him, and he started putting that thing in reverse, and he barely was backing up. He knew what was about to go down. Ooh, that was a bite. Yep. Hey, that's a bigger one, boys. No, it's not. I mean, he might be bigger than the ones we caught, but... Dude, these bites are so soft, guys. You don't even feel them bite. You just feel them, like, like kind of load up on it. It's really odd. Okay, he's definitely fatter, but... <laughs> <laughs> what happened to these dang fish are there not no big ones in here no more i'm listen i'm completely fine like fishing's been so tough recently guys like anything we catch is a lot of fun to me i'm gonna catch one of this cast i ain't giving him an option that's a big one actually bigger than way bigger than the other ones he ain't a big one but he's way bigger i'm about to say that one got some size to him Told you I ain't giving him no option. I'm just going to skirt him in. Mm-hmm. About twice as big as them other ones, but he's still about a pound and a half. <laughs> guys, all I got to say is we're freaking catching them. So if you guys are enjoying the video thus far, hit that dang like button. I know we ain't catching any big ones, but we're having some fun, and we're putting the smack down on these bass. And what's even cooler about this, it's not like we're just running into these fish. We actually figured them out. We figured out the bait that they wanted. We figured out how to retrieve it. And we figured out where to position the bait to get the bites. And that was really cool. So hit the like button for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. I think I'm gonna close this one off. I'm actually gonna go try to film another one here today at some different ponds for some really big bass. So stay tuned for the more content coming up on the channel. I appreciate the love and support and I'll catch you all in the next video.